Hey, welcome back guys, this is Cracky Fox, and today we're going to be building the CSX Tier 4 Givo ET44AH. Now this is a brand new 2021 design based on the CSX 3251, the same road number locomotive that I have an HO scale model of, so since I have a model of, I was able to um, look at it for very close detail scale trains, they have a lot of detail in their builds, so um, I was able to use that as a good reference. And still, real life pictures are helpful as well. Compared to my older 2017 model, and it's been like 2017, so that's almost like four years ago. Uh, it's not quite a full four years, um, but there's a lot of new changes that added to this build, and let's go over them. So, for this one, since this is an ET44AH, it has a higher radiator section than the ES44AC, like this one does. It's all flat across, but this one, it goes up in the back. We also do have a new boxcar logo here on the side. In the back, I added some uh, spare knuckler holders right here. The front, it just has a pilot. Now in the front, um, I made a chain right over here to act as the real life chain that goes between the two railings and we also do have a new railing design here for the handrails i added the inner railing here since i've been looking at the real life skill exchange model and it has this detail so i did want to include it in this build i know something was off with my builds before um i didn't get the shape quite right because i know like this the fences here on the side they're supposed to be the same uh, height as this one in the front so <clears throat> now they are equal equal heights. That's very good and I will add this in like future builds and I know in real life There's like different types of locomotives. Some have like these two um, Poles they're closer together while other ones they are more wider apart and this one is one of the wider apart ones So that's pretty much it for all the new uh, features about this build and you know in each generation we make we keep on improving getting better and better and uh, yeah, even though we've done a lot for this build, there's probably still a lot more to be done in the future. So be looking forward to that. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and build this thing. Now this is not for the faint of hearted, quite a detailed build, but I will be showing you how to build most of it um, by hand. I know some people, they've been complaining, why don't you do only one side? So first off, we're going to take out another brick stairs, an oak slab, a dark oak fence gate. A black concrete block, another brick wall, dark oak trap door, trip wire hook, um, dark oak slab, and uh, what else? Acacia fence gate. So in the front, we're going to make the pilot. So that's going to be another brick stairs, three blocks wide, and they're going to be cornered on the sides, at upside down on the edges and upside down right here in the back. Add a dark oak fence gate on either side of that stairs. Then the middle will add an acacia fence gate. And I'm gonna open that up towards the front. Add black concrete on either side of it and upside down nether brick stairs on the side. In the middle will add in dark oak fence gate. Three blocks and you wanna make this pattern. Open the ones on the sides. Strip wire hooks on either side of the middle, and a dark oak slab in the middle for the coupler. Then we will add in an oak slab on top of this fence gate, an oak slab diagonally to the right hand side, and then we'll add in another two oak slabs on this side. Then we'll add in two black, actually three blocks of white black concrete inside. Two oak slabs here, while there will be uh, this dark prismarine slab. And that's going to be two blocks wide like this. And this is what is on the actual model. I don't know why they do that, but there's like this little blue section here. Anyways, next we'll take out another brick wall, add it on either side of the middle, like that. Then we will take an oak uh, fence, wrap that around the wall. For both of them, of course. Then we will add in the wheels. So take out a gray terracotta and dark oak stairs as well as another brick block. So we're going to add a pair of wheels here with the gray, con gray terracotta. 
dark oak here. And then behind that, there will be a hopper. Then we'll add in another brick block between the stairs. And then we'll do the same thing again. So add in the wheel. Copying the same thing. Another brick block in the middle. And then after this one, there will be another pair of wheels here. Hoppers behind it. And another brick block in between the stairs. Alright, looks like this. Then we'll add in uh, another brick slab. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, another brick stairs. So we're going to add in stairs upside down in between the wheel section where we have the terracotta. They're all going to be upside down facing the front. And we will add in dark oak fence gate right here in the middle. And on the side of it, and we will open that up towards the front. Then we'll add in another brick slab in the spaces between. And actually for this part, never mind, this is actually a dark oak fence gate. And we'll open that up towards the middle. Or actually towards the where we have that nether brick block. That's what I meant. Then after that, we will add in the high add trucks. So we'll add in two nether brick stairs here in upside down. And then another brick slab on top and behind it. It's two nether brick stairs, one right side up, upside down. And slab, and then two slabs on top of this. And then right side up, upside down, and then two slabs on top. Then we add in uh, dark oak trap doors in the space between. And then we'll go on the other side, add in nether brick stairs. Stacked on top of each other, upside down. Another brick slab on top and behind it. Then another brick stairs. Right side up, upside down, then two slabs on top. And then another brick slab, another brick stairs, right side up, and then upside down, and then two slabs. Alright, we're left with this. And uh, then we will add in um, black concrete all the way across the middle. to go right um, before this last hopper. Now, be where you have the last hopper, there's going to be another brick stairs. It's going to be upside down facing the front. All right. Then the inside of this will add in another brick wall right on top of the stairs. Skip a block, add one, and then skip two, add one. Other side will do the same thing. Add in black concrete in the gaps. Like that. Then we'll add in a skeleton skull on this side. And the other side will be a nether brick wall. And we'll just add that right there. And then we'll add in nether brick slab and upper slab in between where we have the gaps. And then on this section, we'll add in, um, replace these two slabs with stairs, and these two slabs with stairs as well. And what else do we have to do with this? Um, in the front, there's going to be stairs right here. Change this to stairs as well. And we're just doing that on this side because it is a little asymmetrical. Then for the fuel tank, we'll add in black concrete. We're going to make a 2 by 6 I mean 2 by 3 like that. And then on the edges, we'll add in upside down nether brick stairs. And then we're going to make the stairs 11 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then the back, we'll add in another brick slab on top. And then the front, we'll add in three nether brick slabs. Then in the other side, We'll add in nether brick stairs so it lines up at the bottom, the other side of the bottom. Like that. And then once we reach the back, we'll add in black uh, concrete, make it two by three. Add a row of upside down, nether brick stair, and actually this, we're going to add in stairs on the outer edge. I almost forgot this, but there's going to be a slab in the middle. 
It's not that big of a deal, but also change this stairs in the middle to a slab. So I realized in my model one, this is what it looks like. There's like a little empty space there. Okay, so next we'll add on this side a dark oak fence gate. Open that up towards the front. A dark oak trap door on top of that. And then um, on this side, let's see what we're doing. Add a dark oak uh, fence gate facing towards uh, the fuel tank. Open that up and another brick um, fence on top. And the rest of this, there's going to be two upside down stairs in the front. And the rest is going to be slabs. Then we're going to make the inner wall of this uh, black concrete. And we will make the other side inner wall with black concrete as well, just all the way across. Then we will add in three blocks long of nether brick stairs, skip a block, another three. And the middle will add a dark oak fence gate. Next, we'll go over to this side. We'll add in uh, this wheel again. So I would say skip two blocks away from this. So skip two, add in a pair of great terracotta, dark oak stairs, and um, a hopper. Like that, and that's going to be the one wheel. And then we'll um, make another wheel in the front of us. So go right over here. Skip two blocks and build the same thing again. And then skip two blocks and build another wheel here. Pretty much the same concept. And then we'll add in nether brick blocks in between the stairs. Uh, nether brick stairs in between terracottas and a dark oak fence gate open that up towards the nether brick blocks and we'll add in a dark oak fence gate right here to say trap door I mean fence gate and then we'll add in a fence gate to the side of the hopper open that up towards the back and the other side I just need to confirm we'll add in dark oak fence gate facing towards the back open that up and a dark oak trap door on top of that. Well, on the other side, we will add in another brick slab. So it's going to be right over here above that fence gate. Now we'll add in another brick stairs to the sides of the wheel. So add in two blocks tall here. Upside down, another brick slab, top of the, and after it. Another brick stairs, right side up, upside down slab and two slabs on top then right side up upside down and then two slabs on top and we'll repeat the same thing on the other side just two blocks tall stairs um, upside down stairs slab on the top and after it stairs upside <laughs> right side up upside down two slabs on top and the slab then stairs right side up, upside down, and then two slabs. Then we will add in um, right over here on this section um, another brick slab. It's going to be three blocks long here. And then we'll add in black concrete in the middle, and it's going to go all the way to the end. Then we will add in another brick wall uh, right inside these two outer hoppers and then one on top of that stairs and the rest is going to be black concrete right and then finally we reach the other side uh, there will be uh, well on this side there's no pilot I mean there's no plow so it's going to be a two by three just skip a block and make a two by three black concrete Add another brick stairs upside down on the sides. Other side, same thing. In the middle, we'll add in dark oak fence gates, row three, with the outer ones facing inside. Open that up. Add in a dark oak slab in the middle with trip wire hooks on either side. 
And in the middle, we'll punch a hole here. That's actually going to be an acacia fence gate. Open it up towards the outside for the MU cable. Then on top of this slab, we'll add in a um, dark oak trap door. And then underneath here, we'll add in another brick stairs upside down and dark oak fence gates on either side. Then on top, we'll add in a row of three black concretes and oak slabs um, make a v-shape in the middle and two on the sides other side same thing then we will add in a two by two of oak fence like this on either side a dark oak i mean a dark prismarine um, slab we're gonna make another v-shape here Then we'll add in a dark, I made another brick slab right on top of that stairs. And an oak fence on the side of this. We have two blocks tall of oak fence gates next to it. And open that up towards the inside. Go diagonally inwards, add another fence gate here, open that outwards. On the side will repeat the same thing. As such. Then we're going to add in a chain in the middle of these fences. And let's go back to the front and we'll add in a chain there as well. Alright, so then we'll uh, go on this side, add an oak fence here. An oak fence gate, two blocks tall, open that up. Dagly inwards, oak fence gate facing outwards. And we'll do the same thing on the other side here, as you can see. Brand new design, I do like it a lot. And now we'll add in the ditch lights, so that's going to be an item frame with a smooth quartz inside. Both sides like that. Okay, so uh, next thing we'll do, we'll add in um, this yellow concrete. We're going to make it five blocks wide in the front. Add one in the outer edges. And then we'll add an oak um, stairs, a dark prismarine slab, and then dark prismarine stairs. So we'll add in dark prismarine stairs here, and then a slab. And then um, an oak stairs, and the oak stairs faces outwards like that for the window. And inside we'll add in a black concrete. And two yellow concretes. Then on the middle, we'll add in yellow concrete, oak stairs to side, and oak slab, both sides. On top of that, we'll add in a blue carpet like that. Stone button in the middle with an item frame around it. Next, there will be a oak fence gate here, in front of that prismarine stairs and open that up for the grab iron we'll also add in a oak button at these bottom corners then we'll take out lapis lazuli blue concrete uh, blue glass pane black glass pane black glass and birch fence gate so so first off we'll add in a row of three lapis lazuli then a row of five lapis lazuli behind it. Then we'll add a uh, blue glass pane in the middle, black glass on the either side. Lapis lazuli in the middle will make a T-shape. Then two black glass in these holes here. Then we'll add a dark prism rain stairs in this nook and on top. Then we'll add in two more lapis lazuli here on the outer edge. Other side, same thing. And then on top, we'll add in uh, this smooth quartz slab. We'll make it two by three. On the outer edge, we'll add smooth quartz stairs and dark prismine stairs. Other side, same thing. 
and a birch fence gate in the middle, open that up towards the outside. We'll add black concrete, two blocks tall, I mean two blocks long on either side. And a warped trap door, and we'll open that up towards that way. Then we'll add in an oak button and a dark oak button. So we'll add in two oak buttons here and then a dark oak button. The other side we'll add dark oak button and then two oak buttons. Underneath this part we'll add in two oak slabs. Other side, do the same thing. And we'll add in lapsuli on the inner part of this. All right, so now we'll go on this side. We'll add in a uh, lapis lazuli and then a blue con, uh, blue wool, lapis lazuli, blue wool, and then I would say six lapis lazuli. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we'll add dark prismarine slabs, six blocks long in the back. And then up over here, it will be lapis lazuli. Fill that in. And we'll move up to the other side. Add in two lapis lazuli here. Then two lapis lazuli on the inner part. And then two oak slabs. And then a bedrock block. Then we'll add in oak slabs till it reaches the other side. Like that. Then we'll add lapis lazuli in the inner part of that oak slab. Add lapis lazuli on top of that oak slab, two blocks tall, and make it go back to the cab. Like that. Then we'll add in dark prismarine stairs upside down here. And then another one upside down, so it's cornered like that. We'll add a lapis lazuli on top. And an oak fence gate. So there are two diagonally. Open that up towards the front. Then we'll add in an oak slab. And then we'll go to the back part, add in two oak slabs. And then a smooth quartz block. And then oak slabs for the rest. Then go back on this side. Add a smooth quartz slab right above this stairs and slab. Then we'll add in four oak slabs towards the front, another smooth quartz slab. And we'll fill in the rest of this row with oak slabs all the way across. So next we'll go to the back part and we'll add lapsuzuli, yellow concrete on top and an oak stairs on top of that. Then we'll add um, bedrock, three blocks tall behind it. And then skip a block, three blocks tall again. We'll make it two, actually maybe four blocks long. And then we'll add an oak stairs here. Oak trap door, open that up, and then an oak stairs. Other side, we'll repeat the same thing. Then we'll add two blocks tall, yellow glass panes on sides. And on top, we'll add in yellow concrete and bedrock on either side. In the middle, we'll add in a smooth stone slab with a birch fence gate, open that up towards it. Then we'll add dark prismarine slab to the sides of this. An oak slab on the outside. And then three blocks wide, lapis lazuli. And dark prismarine slab on the outer edge. The middle will be a warped sign. Next, we'll add in bedrock. So that's going to be four blocks long outside the middle. So one, two, three, four. The side, same thing. Lapsuli behind it, and then three bedrocks, and then a row of lapsuli. 
Then we'll add dark prism green slab on top, and we're going to make this go all the way to the back. Next, we'll add in three blocks wide, lapsuli, slabs, and then a warp slab on this side, lapsuli for the rest. I mean, <laughs> dark prism green slab for the rest. All right, so next, we'll go back on over here. And we will uh, skip so that it's on the third slab here, add lapsuli. And we'll make it so it's four blocks tall like this. And we'll extend this all the way back to the front like that. On top, we'll add lapsuli, a bedrock block, lapsuli, bedrock block, and then dark prismarine slab with bedrock block inside. Then bedrock block. Lapsuli, an upper dark prismarine slab, and then a dark prismarine stairs upside down. So it faces towards the front. You know, I'm keep on messing this up. Sorry about that. Then we'll add in two bedrocks on the inside of that. Okay, then we'll go on the other side, add lapsuli, have four blocks long bedrock. One, two, three, four. Lapsuli, two blocks long. Bedrock block. Lapsuli. And we'll make this part go all the way to the bottom with lapis. And we'll fill in the inside of this with lapis. I should probably say that lapis instead of lapsuli. It's a lot shorter. Okay, so now we'll add in warped trap door. Uh, we'll make it two by three on top, the back. And then we'll skip a block at three blocks wide, warp trap door, and this is going to go all the way across the bedrocks. So that's like a giant box. Then on top of the roof, I got this idea from, uh, what's it called, glass, uh, to use this like snow layer. So we're just going to add two snow layers for the PTC antenna, and then we'll add an iron pressure plate behind it, and stone buttons on either side. In the front, we'll add a row of three white carpets. All right, and then on the sides, we can add in an iron bar like that. Okay, so back over here, we'll add in lapzuli all the way across this top section and all the way across the other section as well. Alrighty, so then we'll go to the back part. Work on that a little bit. So that's going to be lapsuli or lapis right there. A bedrock on top and lapis on top. Then we will add dark prismarine uh, slab. And we'll need that stairs. So add in two slabs. Like that. And then two upside down stairs. And then at the bottom, there's going to be stairs like that. And actually, probably chose the wrong block. Like I built this before 1.16, so I'm going to use warp trap door for that instead. Okay, so we're going to add in a warp trap door right above the stairs. Open that up. And then lapis next to it. And then bedrock for the rest of this hole. Okay, so then we'll add... On the other side I guess it's a little bit different we'll add in a row of three or a column of three lapis uh, warp trap door in the middle open that up then we'll add in two dark bruce green slabs and then two stairs upside down stairs at the bottom and a warp trap door open that up lapis at the bottom and then fill the rest in with bedrock then uh, we'll make a two by three of lapis. Inside part, we're gonna go inside and add two by three bedrock. And then we'll add dark prismarine slabs, make two rows like this, three blocks long. And this outer edge on top, we'll add uh, dark prismarine slabs all the way across to the back. We'll do the same thing on the other side so it lines up with this bedrock here. Then the front will add in another three 
uh, slabs at the bottom like that. And nether brick stairs for the rest all the way across here. Do the same thing on the other side. Just add in three slabs in the front. And stairs for the rest. Okay, so it should look like this. Now we'll add in uh, lapis lazuli uh, right where the slab is on top. We'll make a line across all the way to the bottom. Do the same thing on the other side. And then on this side, we'll just fill in the rest in with uh, lapis. Then we'll fill in the bottom row, lapis, both sides. And the middle area, we'll add in three lapis underneath the middle on top. And the middle of the inside of this, we'll add in lapis as well. And this is where we're going to make the logo. We got that nice hole for the logo. And for the rest of this section, we'll fill this in with lapis as well. Just do it really quickly. Other side, same thing. Just fill this in quickly down this gap fill that in all right so for the logo we'll add in oak slab and stairs and that's it so top corners we'll add in slabs and the bottom corners we'll add into back to back upside down oak stairs for the wheels of this box car logo so then we'll add upside down oak stairs two blocks wide top of the wheels slab at the bottom and we'll do the same thing on the other side add it in the oak and we're just making the symmetrical areas which is like most of it just building it again add two upside down right above each of them slab at the bottom and the middle is going to be a backwards l shape oak like that so do the same thing over here backwards oak that's the CSX boxcar logo. On the roof, we'll add in lapis. And the horn will be a warped Penske in the middle. Next, we'll add warp button. So we're going to add them in between uh, these vents here on top of the lapis. Right there on the radiator. And we'll add one over here on this side. Let's grab iron. Then we'll go down over here at, la at warped button, and then a stone button, and this is supposed to represent the walkway light. And then we'll add a oak button, drag me up, and then two birch buttons. Birch button in this nook here. Uh, two warp buttons over here. Uh, birch button inside there, other side. Add a birch button here, a birch button underneath here, skip a block, add two here, uh, add another one up here, another one underneath this bedrock, and an oak button diagonally down here, birch button in the front, and an acacia button right next to the slab. Go back onto this side, we'll add in a Birch button down here, and then two warp buttons spaced apart, an oak button up over here. And then on this side, there's going to be a birch sign right there. Dangly up, a birch button like so. Then we'll go in the front, add in the number plates, which are dark oak signs. Then we'll move down over here, add a smooth quartz. Slap in front of this bedrock. Then we're going to have to fix this part. Apparently this is just a bedrock block, so replace these slabs here with bedrock. So it sticks out like that. Only this one is supposed to be inside. Okay, so now I think it's time to add in the railings. So we're going to use nether brick fence and dark oak fence gates for this. And also dark oak fence. So go to the back. We'll add in a dark oak fence here, and then wrap that around with nether brick fence. Then add a dark oak fence gate 
do the same thing on the other side. Dark oak fence. Wrap that around with another brick fence. Dark oak fence gate. On this side, we'll add in dark oak <laughs> fence. Another brick fence around it. And then we'll do the other side, slightly different on this side. Another brick fence, two blocks tall. Then a fence gate. And a dark oak fence and wrap nether brick fences around it. Add dark oak fence gate. Then go back over here at the top. Add in another brick fence on the outer edge. Dark oak fence gate. Fence. And then a fence gate. And then two fences. Diagonally down and then another two fences. And then underneath here, two fences. Fence gates on either side of that. Fence gates, uh, fence two blocks tall. And we do that every other um, block here. And fence gates in between. In real life, these poles have a lot of different distances between each other. They're not equidistant. Now we'll go on the other side. Go right over here, uh, added a fence gate, another brick fence, two blocks tall. Skip a block, add another pole, skip a block, add another pole, and then go down diagonally, add another one here. Add in fence gates in the space between. Fence gates after here. And then um, another brick fence, two blocks tall, and then do every other block. Keep on doing this to reach the back. Then we'll add in uh, these dark oak fence gates in between. Like that. Now we're going to add in the door banners. So go to our loom and we're going to grab some materials. Just a black banner and blue dye. Inside the loom we'll place the materials inside, make a border around it blue border and then we're going to go across the bottom half of it with blue and we'll just smack this at the back of the cab and I'm going to crouch down to place it right bam like that it looks really clean with the shaders I don't know all right then we're going to go to the back and add in some chains so that's going to be a dark oak defense gate in between here other side there's going to be an actual chain block here and dark oak fence gate and these are for pulling locomotives just in case the coupler breaks or something. So that's how you make the new CSX tier 4 Jivo ET44AH in Minecraft. I do hope you guys enjoy this video. Sorry it's been a really long time since I've, I've been posted to build a CSX Jivo for a really long time. Um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.